Your taste in food has always been on the weird side. Thanks, everyone. I wouldn't have made it without you. Where is everyone? A Spyrex casing? This looks like a storage space for Spyrexes, but the contents are destroyed. Did Gaius do this? Whoever it was leveled the larger facilities and warehouses, but left the other buildings intact. In other words, their goal is not an invasion or to wipe out the military. Mila, 
We should hurry and look for Balin. Right. I'm sorry I dragged everyone down. I can't believe the size of this facility. Everything. It's like a city in and of itself. Are you okay? Thank you. I think I'll be okay now. This place seems deserted. Do you know where everyone went? Some people got out early. I don't know about the rest. It was pretty chaotic. Did you see the attackers? The soldiers hit us like a wave. They were led by some guy with a giant sword and a flying woman. Well, that settles it. That it does. They told us they'd destroy every last Spyrix, then they ordered us to retreat. Sounds like something he'd say. Wait, he can't be. Gaius must be planning to eliminate every Spyrix in the entire world. Just to stop the Otherworld reactor plan? Isn't that a bit extreme? No, it's a sound plan. Olympias' situation won't change as long as it has access to Spyrex. Even if the current plan is halted, someone else will eventually come up with something similar. By eliminating Spyrex, Gaius is going right to the heart of the two-world problem. Sounds like a lot of work. But if Gaius is anything, he's determined. Damn it. That puts Balin in danger. Excuse me, do you know anything about someone named Balin? He's a Spyrex engineer. You might find him over in the Spyrite Research Wing. What? Officially, it's called the Military Research Wing, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Those freaks are probably still wreaking havoc over there. <sighs> I'm sure he's okay. Don't worry about me. You just worry about Gaius. Yeah, but still... You already have enough on your plate. Your job is to keep moving forward, remember? R right We don't have time to worry right now. The sappy stuff will have to wait. All right, thanks. So where's this military research wing anyway? Just ahead. If it's still standing. Be careful. You too. You sure you're gonna be okay? Save it, I'm fine.
So this entire city is powered by Spyrex. 
Yep. This world turns by stealing energy from spirits. Olympias has been doing that since ancient times. That's why it's rich in spirit fossils and little else. How can everyone be so calm about killing spirits? With so many spirits gone, even nature is starting to disappear. Olympians don't know that spirits create nature, or even that they're alive to begin with. All they know is that their primary energy source is drying up. Yet they're not doing anything about it. We've progressed this far by relying on Spyrix. We can't remake our society overnight. Could you immediately stop using spirit arts if someone told you to? No, I don't think we could. Riza Maxia couldn't exist without humans and spirits working together to cast spirit arts. Symbiotic coexistence, eh? Must be nice. Maybe we Manilobless Olympians are simply destined for extinction. I do suspect that was the destiny Maxwell originally had in mind. But I have no intention of adhering to Destiny's plans. I envy your strength. If you have time for envy, you have time to act. With your actions, this situation can change. Change the entire world, huh? That's not really my style, but... Maybe just this once. Thank you. 
find Balin or Gaius at this rate. Let's look somewhere else. Hold on. What is it? Now this confirms it. They created a spyrite with the information Exodus gave them. Something called Volt. Interesting. So Gilland really was trying to save Olympias with spyrites. What? According to this, that spyrite thing was powered about a half an hour ago. That sounds like it was one of the reasons for the chaos that transpired here. Where'd it go? I don't know exactly, but it looks like it climbed to one of the floors above us. What do you think? It might be worth checking out. Why do you say that? I don't have any proof, but I think Gaius might have activated it. If he did, we should find him nearby. But what would be his motive for using Spyrite? I have the same question. I think it's important we get in contact with him. Jude, it's not that I don't want to meet him. But if Gaius is dead set on destroying all Spyrixes, I doubt he'll listen to anything we have to say. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If that's his plan, then I'll just have to stop it. You say that now, but we all know how much you respect him. Just as you respect Mila. Please, Rowan. There's no need for this. You sure you won't back down in front of your hero, kid? Hey! Jude doesn't need a lecture from you! Yeah! Who died and made you head honcho? It's okay. I do respect Gaius, but it doesn't mean I have to follow his path. I can create my own. Otherwise, I'll never make my own decisions. I won't grow up to be who I want to be. Well said. Jesus' power went out. Let's proceed with caution. Thank you. 
Careful here. Touch. on you, Elise. there. Thank <laughs> you. 
That must be Volt. Ah! Anyone else all tingly? It appears to be a spirit that can control lightning. It doesn't seem to be tethered to a human the way Celsius was to Gillen. So you're saying it's out of control? We won't get any answers until we calm it down. <laughs> 